Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2024 ski test. We've got a new one for you today. This is a Vocal Revolt 96. And we got to spend a good amount of time on this ski this year. And I would say each time I got out on it, I learned a thing that I liked more about it. So it was a, a progressive level of enjoyment for me uh, getting on this Revolt 96. And it just makes a lot of sense as both an all mountain ski and as a park ski. You know, we're seeing Jeff do more stuff in the park, but I find a lot of all mountain capabilities uh, to like about skis like this. Uh, there's just a lot of usefulness for a mid 90s twin tip, especially where we are here in Vermont. Uh, tighter trees, you know, you know, sometimes softer snow in there, uh, but really just a well-rounded ski that can do a whole lot of everything, uh, including that high level park skiing. Um, you know, new shape this year, but we're keeping pretty much the same construction. Uh, it does use their multi-layer wood core, so stringers of poplar and beech. A uh, little bit thicker uh, in the, in the midsection of the ski, and then it kind of tapers to that mini cap in the tips and tails. So it never quite hits full cap. Uh, very, very close, but you can see it taper down uh, into the tips and tails on that sidewall. So you do get really nice edge grip underfoot, pretty good torsional stiffness, a real ski feel here, and then just more flexibility in the tips and tails. And that kind of comes through and, you know, just hand flexing the ski and just the fact that you can really access the entirety of the side cut uh, when you're in a carved turn. So awesome, awesome ski for mixing that twin tip park versatility and all mountain uh, usefulness. Does come at the cost of weight though, you know, that thickness of that core profile underfoot, 2,159 grams here uh, in the 181 length. Um, I still wish they had one length longer for taller skiers like me, uh, but that didn't really stop my level of enjoyment. I had an absolute blast on this thing. Uh, a lot of the new features come down to that shape uh, and profile. We're seeing that taper, uh, that taper aspect that we saw uh, both in the new Revolt 90 last year, as well as uh, some hints from the Revolt 104 come into this 96. So more, I'll start with the tail, because I think that's the more interesting part. So sharper lines in the tail, uh, you know, definitely has that narrower tail aspect than the old Revolt 95 that this is replacing. That thing was really more just flared out at the end. Uh, this new tapered shape, especially in the tail, makes this thing extraordinarily smooth and easy to turn. You know, more taper in the tip as well. Uh, a little bit more of that Revolt 90 uh, 104 influence in this shovel here, where that widest part of the ski is brought down. Adds to the flotation, makes it easy turn initiation. For park application, that just means less hookiness and catchiness. So when you're taking off and landing big airs at high speeds, the ski is more compliant. Um, you know, again, it is on the heavier side for pure park, uh, but that, that heft does equate to stability as well. So it's not, you know, I would say it's a net gain overall. Um, but really, really interesting ski from Vocal. Bit longer of a turn shape. It does have the 3D radius, um, but there's not a huge difference, you know, when we're talking about 3D radius in uh, Mantra or Kendo or something like that. There's much bigger variances between tip, waist, and tail. Uh, this one is pretty consistent throughout, so a little bit more like a 2D radius, I would say. Uh, but keeps it low 20s underfoot and in tips and tails. Uh, so you, it is more of a straight line ski, but because of the flex, you can access the entirety of the side cut, uh, allowing it to carve some really clean and round turns. And that's one of the things that I kind of hooked into uh, a couple days in was, oh, okay, uh, I really enjoy rolling on this ski from edge to edge and feeling it flex all the way through the tail. Uh, and that was one of, one of my favorite parts about this uh, in terms of a fun perspective was that this thing can just really make round turns, loves to come across the fall line, especially even for having that longer turn shape by the numbers. But when you combine it with the flex and kind of that tapered uh, sidewall capability, really makes this thing kind of stand out uh, and stand on its own as a really fun all mountain ski. So awesome option for that advanced skier who's looking to progress into the park, but also wants something 
uh, that's equally at home in an all-mountain and free ride format. So make sure you check out this all-new uh, Vocal Revolt 96 here at SkiEssentials.com, and we'll see you out there on the hill. Bye.